Hey everybody, this is Hospital Gaming One for not a first attempt try, but just showing you the basics of what to do for rounds one to fifteen with full gameplay. Not actually, sorry, that was kind of stupid. Not full gameplay, just part gameplay in the uh, most mandatory parts. And uh, thanks for watching. So there are check out my channel for five first attempt if you want to see that. Okay, sorry guys, it is very bad. I make it around like seven and don't do anything done. But um, still, let's do it. Look at silly talking, talking. So here we go, let's play some Kinap der Toten. Now that's kind of retarded, no one says it like that. Sorry if there's any lag on over there, but um this recording thing, it's not anything like as good as uh I forget what they're even called, like the capture cards I think. But this this is this it's not bad, but still. My cat's getting up in my in my crib. So, as you see, zombies are spawning right away. So, you start with 500 points. So, what you should do is run over here and quickly buy quick revive, like I just did. Then, um, this is probably the most mandatory part if you want to get points. Uh, shoot them eight times in the chest. Sorry. Oh, um. <clears throat> Sorry, do not shoot them eight times in the chest. Shoot, shoot them eight times in the leg and then knife. See, just like, as I just did there. And, uh, that is probably the best way to make, to earn cash money. And then on round two, and, um, just, just a tip. If you do happen to get a max ammo, ammo, don't buy the M14, and, uh, knife, shoot them eight times in the chest, then knife them on, on round two, then on round three, shoot them eight times in the head and knife them. But, you most likely will not get a max ammo, so what you're doing is walk up the stairs, and to your right there's the M14. Buy that. Now shoot, you see, this is actually a very simple process, process, because I'm Canadian. Um, you shoot them one time in the chest, and then knife them. On round two. You see, on, on round one it would be one shot death. And this, now, you see, then one shot knife. But if it was, when it is round three, you shoot them two times in the chest and knife. And um it's very it's very simple. So I'll come back on round three. Okay guys, things went differently because I got a max ammo. So um it's now what you do, round two. Eight times in the chest, the knife. And it's really that simple. So I won't pause it to get round three because it is round three right now. So um Round three is probably the most uh, fishy. I'm, I'm not sure. I shouldn't really say this kind of dumb, but it's the most uh, difficult thing. Round four, I would just leave and ditch this place, and um, it's because it can get very chaotic. So don't shoot directly in the head. Do it three or four, two or three times directly in the head. Then the rest near the neck. That is probably the, the most efficient way. See, and, uh, okay, since everything can get a little crazy down here, so what you want to do, make sure you do everything right and do not get down, because, um, most people get down, and you see, because it does look a tiny bit in intense right here, it's not intense at all compared to higher rounds, but still, see, now it's around three, two times in the, in the chest, we're going down, boys, it was like, like that, Sorry, my voice is just kind of dumb today. But, um, see, it, since it got a tiny bit crazy, I had to shoot that guy, or I might have, I possibly could have been down. Probably could have avoided it, but, um, yeah. Okay, so I'll come back next one. Okay, guys, it is now round four, just uh, changing from three to four. So now, you should have about 3,000, 
3,500 to 4,000 points. So uh, you want to just buy these doors. There's no way around them. You gotta buy them no matter what. Then um, I like to stay in here till after the dogs. So what you should do is buy the MP40 and try. Uh, sh if, if you would like, you can try a three-shot knife or something, something like that. But this can get a lot very chaotic in this place. So round four, three shots with MP40 and a knife. But that is only ma that is not mandatory if you want to get points. You can still, if you do not feel comfortable comfortable doing this, just try and aim for headshots like this. Okay, uh, that was kind of dumb. Should have been a headshot. But you see, just because there's zombies are sort of coming on me in a sort of a not the best type of place, I would I actually like just um, shooting headshots because like this I got down so if one second if you got down most people go to restart and just restart and that's the best thing to do if you're aiming to get to very high rounds see I wasn't my guard was off and I got down that's what happens occasionally and you see you, you're probably gonna think like he just got down with survival bad thing why would he do that it's kinda stupid he's showing you you see, I got down, so what you should do is something like this happens. You just run back up there, grab quick revive. If you feel like you don't want to restart, which is a, a very feel good feeling. I mean, sometimes you're like, oh god, hey, my ammo matches up with my money. That is lucky, I guess. It won't, it won't for much longer. So we have $3,200. So now that we have quick revive, I'll get back down there. Okay, uh, so the next thing you want to do, this is sort of bad on my part, but I want to tell you all the places where the box box can spawn. So randomly in the middle of a, like in any game, no matter what, doesn't have to you don't have to cheat or anything. Box can spawn here in, next to the MP40, and if, if if that is so, then I would not buy the MP40. The next spot is next spot is over here where we already passed next to the PM63, and after you buy one door, and if if the box is one door away, then you are the luckiest duck in the world. No, you're not even that lucky. It's just, uh, it's just very convenient, you know. And then uh, other, another place where it could be. So what you want to do, just like I'm doing now, you buy this door, and the box is right here. So it just happens to be right there. See, that was kind of panic. So I got the this crappy pistol. So, um, now what you really want to do is just focus on getting to the stage. Now that you have the MP40, you're set for a few rounds, but then the most important thing after you get to the stage is to get Juggernaut. This is the biggest step to the whole thing. Okay. Another thing is, so, you wanna go to, once you, once you get into the stage, but you, uh, you want to turn and tell. Another, another, Another thing that I just want need to mention, I just paused it, just um, around, on round 5, 6, or 7, the hounds come, the hell hounds. And um, so, we have to focus on not dying. This is not very hard to, this is not very hard to survive, but people, not even amateurs, just even people who don't watch the guard and, don't have, and also don't have good guns or any ammo on the guns can die from these guys. Okay, so um just want to focus on killing these guys. So as you said see I have enough jug but I have not bought it yet. So the hounds spawn repeatedly after after each other. Okay. Okay, so sorry about that. Uh so after you after you kill the hounds, you should get max ammo for your Unless you got the box. And also, the box can be here. Sorry. So, next to the juggernaut. So, now that you have enough for jug, you want to get... Go ahead and buy that right away. That is the, the most important thing that you need to do. Like, seriously, that is just the, the mandatory... Ah, I'm not sure what to say for that. But honestly, that is the most important thing that you need to do for the entire game. Jug... And Jug, Speed Cola, and sorry, that was done. Speed Cola is is a very good perk, but it's not mandatory. 
Jug, Double Tap, and, and Quick Revive are my personal favorite perks in single player. And also Mule Kick, but Mule Kick is not mandatory also, it's just very nice to have. And, <clears throat> like I said, none of the perks are mandatory, but if you want to get to high rounds or even try and survive, you need to have Jug and perhaps speak quick about it. The survive is only 500 like I mentioned earlier and um, I would recommend you pick that up right at the beginning of the game. I'm not even very good at I'm not the best at Kino Determined but I am uh, standardly except not exceptionally good at 5 or even Dira Dries or Ascension. Ascension is one of the easiest maps ever. Probably is the, the single easiest map. But, um, there isn't much to do here other than run trains. Once you get to a spot that is safe enough, just wanna give all your ammo and just spread it all into this zombie train. And I wouldn't, don't go through there if you do not have, have jug. You see, I just did that to get Carpenter. And guys, if you want to find out where the mystery box is located, just look above any mystery box location, which is a teddy bear with three things on it, three little boxes. And where the green light is, um, is where you are. So, but the one thing that might be hard for you to get is where where it is. I mean, it shows where it is, but where are you located? That's the real question. So, um, right now I'm on the theater. And, um, I'm going to get the mystery box a couple times. See, I've earned six thousand dollars just by running a, running a train around the stage. It didn't take long. So see, I got the AUD. That is a decent gun, but it won't do for the very high rounds. In the very high rounds, I'm talking about sixty. I mean, like round thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. I'm. If you're watching this, you're mo most likely a beginner, meaning that you will not be able to really get that high. Um, still though. So we have the AUG, and what we want to do is 